Good to go. Good to go. Let me know when you're ready. Thank you. At about 5 a.m. this morning, which is Monday 13th of February 2023, SAPOL and MFS responded to a house fire at Emerald Street at Edwardstown. Upon arrival, they located a house well alight. MFS have entered the property, extinguished the blaze in under 10 minutes, and subsequently located two persons deceased inside that premises. At the time, the cause and circumstances of the fire are under investigation and the cause and circumstances of the death of both occupants of the house are under investigation. Major Crime Investigation Branch members, Forensic Response and Fire Cause Investigators are on scene working through this. We are at very, very early stages of the investigation. Happy to take any questions. Is, is there a relation between the two? They are both family members. Um, that's all we can say at this stage. Can you confirm their ages? At this stage, uh, we're just trying to um, speak with some family members who aren't here in relation to next of kin. So at this stage, we'll just keep uh, that information. We'll provide that later on in the day once we've um, provided further advice to other family members. And can you just talk us through the scene that confronted some of these neighbours? There's some vision of them very frantic, very upset. Yeah, so house fires in general can be a traumatic experience for people. Um, they uh, obviously made the quick decision to contact triple zero and we were on scene quite quickly in response to that. Uh, we have, uh, MFS have done a great job in extinguishing the fire quite quickly, but for the people, the witnesses around the area, it is, can be quite a difficult scene to respond to. Um, and that's why we are, that, that's why we support them on the time. We're obviously providing assistance they do need um, afterwards, but we are calling again any witnesses who may have left or prior to us arriving or have not been spoken to by police up until now, can they please contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. And how were police and crews alerted to it? So a uh, neighbour has um, seen the fire starting within the house and have contacted triple uh, zero um, and we've obviously attended from there. Um, the fire is isolated to a single room within the house. It's um, not at the front of the house, just in the middle of the house. There was smoke has gone through uh, the majority of the house. Uh, damage is estimated at this stage at around $100,000. Um, but again, the fire itself was isolated to a single room within the house. Is it a bedroom or a lounge room? Uh, it was, there was no beds within the room where the fire was started. It appears to be a spare room of some, some description. Sorry, sir. Sorry, yeah, that's my question. Yep. Um, is it suspicious? The fire at this stage is being treated as suspicious. It's important for us when we go to scenes like this that we have that level of response. We want to make sure that we've covered all bases in relation to what could have occurred um, at this stage, but definitely we are treating it as suspicious. The investigation is focused on the two occupants inside the house. We are not ruling out anyone else being involved because we're so early in the investigation. However, we are focused solely at this stage on the two occupants within the address. And there are only two people within the We, at this stage, again, relatively early in the investigation, advice from people who, um, who are from neighbours are that there were two occupants who resided in the address and we've, and we've located two persons deceased in the address. Again, I'd rather not go into specifics at this stage. We are very early on. Um, we do need to get in contact with families. So at this stage, we will provide further advice in relation to um, the identity and circumstances of the two deceased later on in the day. I think it's too early at this stage to provide that advice um, out of sensitivity to the family. Um, we're actually, that's actually a subject of investigation. Um, the neighbours are getting a statement from them at the moment to ascertain how long they've been there. We be, do believe they've been here for a period of time, at least more than two years. But outside of that, we're, that is subject of an investigation. Have they previously been known to police? Uh, no, there's no previous record in relation to any for uh, criminal offending or anything in relation with mm -hmm. police. Can you 
can you confirm if one of the people inside the house was a carer for the other person? Again, that's subject of investigation at the moment. Um, we can't go into any specifics in relation to um, responsibilities of anyone inside the address. Again, where we can, we will provide that later advice later on. It's just a tragic, sad situation. It is. Uh, Any time two persons are located in an address and they're deceased, that is a tragedy. Uh, and we, there's no um, sugarcoating. That is something that we need to identify and work through today. That's why we have all the resources here to investigate it. We need to make sure the cause and circumstances are thoroughly investigated during the day to ensure that we get an understanding of how this occurred um, and to provide more advice to the, to the public and to their family in relation to what happened. We're, it's our responsibility to do that today. Um, the unfortunate part of being an emergency response is that you are uh, generally exposed to things that other members of the public aren't, but the thing is we have the training, we have the resilience and support for people who attend at these incidents, certainly SAPOL do and I'm sure MFS would as well, um, but this is where we help those who are involved, we make sure they're okay. Um, and that's where, and it's not only uh, our police and the MFS, it's the neighbours and everything as well. It's, uh, I think it's everyone's responsibility to make sure they, we look out for each other um, in any circumstances similar to this. No, so I'm not aware of anyone else being, there's certainly no one taken outside of the address and I'm not aware of anyone else being taken from the scene, if a first responder or anyone, um, certainly not to my way, um, understanding. What do you do from the involved? Yeah, so um, major crime investigators, forensic response are probably central to our initial investigation. Um, we will have a um, post-mortem hopefully today to understand the nature and cause circumstances of the death. That's going to be the critical aspect um, and will give us more insight into how this has all happened. Um, we'll be here for some time. These are the type of incidents that you just need to take your time, work through it methodically and make sure that you've got a really good account as to what's happened in the time that we've got. And as I said, once we know a bit further um, uh, in the day, we'll provide further advice as we have it. Yeah, we will make sure that we'll maintain a, um, the cordon around here for a period of the day, I'd say majority of the day, while we're on scene. I know you said that they um, have been known to police until the end of the but have you visited the home? No. So, no, police have not responded to the, this address in relation to any disturbances or anything like that, certainly not. Last what ones, everyone. So again, it's, uh, we're hitting now 9.30 on a Monday morning. All of those inquiries will be coming from, from now. Those the, um, we would do that as a matter of course through any investigation um, of this nature is to ascertain who frequently engages um, with people in these circumstances. And just in terms of inside the house, so it is, so it's just one room? Yeah, so there was a, the, the fire itself has completely destroyed one room inside the house. The rest of the house is um, obviously damaged through um, smoke um, that has spread throughout the house. Did it not spread because um, firefighters stopped it or was it just burning in that room? Uh, again, the MFS are probably better placed in relation to the spread of the fire. All I can say was upon the initial response, MFS did respond very quickly, which would have prevented spreading further throughout the house. Do you know if there was any yeah, so again, that will be subject of the investigation into the nature and cause the circumstances of the fire. Um, again, where we have that advice, we will provide it later in the day. Are you able to confirm that this is a house uh, I can't confirm, I don't believe it, no, actually, I can't confirm at this stage whether it's a um, housing estate property. All good, everybody? All, right. All good, boss? Thanks. Thank you very much Thanks, for your everybody. time. Appreciate your patience.